Uh oh. Yeah, usually, it's up. Uh oh, what? You know what the problem is, don't you? He's figuring it out. He doesn't know yet. <sighs> what? Enlighten us. Afternoon, afternoon, afternoon. Um, so we are flying main beams today. We have our eastmost beams to do, and then we have all of the flooring joists milled, and we're going to fly the beams and then measure how far apart they are so we can uh, do our final cut on all the flooring joists, and then hopefully get a lot of those done, possibly even fly some today. We'll kind of see how the day goes. So check it out. All right, real quick, I wanted to let you all know that the Sirewall class registration ends tonight. Today is April 11th. So if you're seeing this video after April 11th, 2022, you missed it. So if you want to get in on that class and come do Rammed Earth and learn it at our place, you got to sign up literally right now. Like just click on the link right now, D down below, click it, click it and sign up. Uh, there's only a few spots left, so get after it. We put foam into one of the walls and that's exactly where the four by 10 needs to hit. Well, I was like, oh, we can just cut the foam out. But then the four by 10 is resting on foam, not rammed earth. Yeah. You see the uh-oh? Uh, I know what we'll do. Piece of cake. We'll anchor into the front. It'll be fine. Check this out. This was cool. So Luke, while, uh, while planing, found all these teeny little holes. And we assumed they were some kind of bug, oh. right? Yeah. Oh. As soon as Rich put the oil over them, the bugs all backed out and were trying to get away because the oil has the citric or the uh, citric acid or the, um, the citrus acid in it. And so all the bugs backed out and abandoned their tiny little holes. Here, you can see them right here. There's, see them how they're, they're halfway in and halfway out? And it actually killed them. See? They're dead. That is weird. Yeah. This is going to wind up pretty much on the phone, correct? Yeah, I think so. I think let's pull. Let's do. Is yeah, that? Pretty much on the phone. Is it, is it supposed to be touching the phone? Well, yeah. Sure. Call it that. We'll probably only be able to sink it, say, if we, like, three inches in. Four. Four? Yeah. So that's only six inches, right? It's eight inches. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Oh. So that's eight inches. So if we sink it four with chemical anchors, it'll probably be fine. Chemical five eighths. Maybe three of them, two of them. I think two. Because there's not a ton of weight on it. Right. Yeah. All right. So yeah, let's put it right up against the foam. All right. So basically the issue that we have is on this side you'll notice there's no foam in that wall because we realized that putting foam in that wall would actually create um, a structural issue. And because this is just the garage, uh, I'm, not, I'm less worried about insulation and more worried about structure. So anyway, the, the issue is we didn't have foam in these, but we did put foam in this because we hadn't thought about it until after the fact that these pillars would not need foam. So notice, the four by tens will actually sit where the foam should sit on the pillars. But if there's foam here, the four by 10 has nowhere to be. And if we just cut the foam and set the four by 10 down, then the four by all the weight for the four by 10 is actually sitting on the foam, which chances are it could take it, but that's not a structural element. So what we are going to do is we are going to in fact cut the foam out 
replace it with a four by 10, but then what we're gonna do is drill anchors into this section. So the four by 10 will actually be hanging and, and sitting on the anchors, which are driven into rammed earth. And so it will be okay. It'll be okay. It's going to be fine. I'm just gonna keep saying that over and over. Um, yeah, just mistakes that we've made along the way. Um, you know, they happen, it happens. So we, uh, we'll figure it out and we'll move forward. So for now, we're going to place these anchors, um, at least figure out where the anchors need to be. So we're gonna drill some pilot holes and then we'll pull this down anyway and then probably place the other one in position and um, drill those holes as well. And then we'll put the four by 10 in place, drill those holes, then put this back and that back and we'll be done. That's simple, right? Easy peasy. <laughs> 15 steps later. 15 <laughs> steps later, it's super easy. So what we have to do first, I got it. in order to make sure that our holes end up in the exact same spot every time, we actually pre-drill the wood holes. Then we take the drill bit that we're actually gonna be using to drill the holes into the cement. And we touch it, that way we know we're at the right angle and everything's in the right position. It's literally all that, all that it is. And then, you know what? I'm just gonna walk right there. Just to make, just to hear Luke squirm. You can hear Luke squirm? Wow, oh, yeah. you've got good ears. Well, he squirms so loudly. I don't like that. Huh? I don't like that. You don't like what? I'm just sitting on my roof. So what we're gonna have to do for the four by eights is come into the center bay do like we did on that side and just drag them over one by one and then do the center bay by just pulling in and just dropping straight them through. straight through. So we have to do this side next. Glad you thought of that now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Super planned that. Oh yeah. Totally planned it. Absolutely. This is a professional operation we have here. This is not flying by the seat of our pants by any stretch of the imagination but you know it's okay it's just our house that we're going to live in for the next thousand years it's cool that worked surprisingly well yeah, you. hey hon what you doing I'm going to use the draw knife because I hear that it's incredibly satisfying. It is quite satisfying. That is incredibly satisfying. Oh! You got it. Wow. Is it everything you thought it would be? A good I mean. Good. It, it's not like everything, everything, but it is pretty awesome. Hey, you guys didn't realize we were starting an ASMR channel. Uh, yeah. ASMR channel, did you? That is pretty fantastic. Look at that. Yeah. It's just like wet little ribbons of some people that's a nightmare scenario that's true aren't there, aren't there people who have a thing with wet paper yes is that yeah. good enough that's the draw knife yep well done that's awesome so this will go straight down into the center column and then we're going to drill two this way that will go into the rammed earth because for the I, side for the, for the side the corner. yeah the okay. corner exactly
I want to measure it. Measure what? I want to measure the height before we finalize it. Do you really want to know? No. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know that I want this part to be on the camera. For posterity's sake. What are we looking at there, Luke? To the bottom. Uh, one, seventeen, and eight. Yep. Okay. One, sixteen. Three quarters. Uh, and a half. To the bottom of this, right? Yeah. So a half inch. Um, okay. Which is nice, because we can just bring it up a half inch. That's one fifteen and, like, and a quarter. And, no, it's like one fifteen and a half. One fifteen and a half. So, I think it's better for it to be even, and we do want that corner to be slightly higher. These are both higher than those over there. Yeah, because we want the whole roof to slope that way and that way, slightly. Gotcha. Let's do a half inch. I will go get a half inch shim. That is slightly over a half inch. Sounds good. By like a sixteenth. Right. There we go. Jelly that thing under there. Huh? All right. Our beam is set in place. Yep. Now it's time to anchor uh, it. Uh, hammer. Hammer time. Oh, hammer time. So how do these work? So basically you put this anchor in and then you smack it down with this other piece that actually expands. See, there's a little piece in there and these then expand. It drives a, a piece forward to expand these and that's how they hold in. Cool. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we are gonna thread two on. Putting two on so that I can screw it into the so I can screw it into the anchor. Look at that. Okay, the all thread, good, good call. Man, that's tight. Like it cinched it down. I felt the whole board go. Ooh. Yeah, that is such a better way to do it. All right. All right, we're back in business. Right. And then over here, like Ricky said before, we're going to be going in horizontally there because we have the foam underneath and we don't want the weight of our beam resting on the foam. Ooh. Whoa, I saw that. Did you see that suck in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> our spacer is. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's loose enough. All right, hand me another anchor. Nothing broke out. I didn't see anything. All right, then we're good. 
So we were using bolts before, long bolts, but the problem is the bolts are a set length. And so once you drive the anchor in, if you have drilled your hole even a quarter inch too deep or too shallow, the bolt will either bottom out or you won't be able to tighten it all the way because the bolt will bottom out in the anchor. Yeah. So then you got to put a whole bunch of washers to shim it. And yeah. this is just a much, 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 much better solution. Which again, this was another Luke idea. This is why we listen to Luke. Hey, hon. Go ahead and uh, film Luke for a second. Luke, right over there. Oh yeah, we should introduce some, introduce the people to Rich. We're gonna see him. Might as well say hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Rich. Rich. <laughs> <laughs> so Rich is, so TJ's wife's father is who Rich is. So he has moved out here at least temporarily, but we're hoping it'll be longer, but he's, he's moved out here and he's given us a hand. Yeah. So thank you. Hey! <laughs> Giving you a hand. Giving me a hand. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So thought, what if we just set the beam up here while I do the drilling? That way we don't have to pull it all the way down and do all that. As long as you keep the strap on it. Yeah, we'll keep the strap on it and keep tension, but just set it down and land it there. Yeah. That's Should hammer drill, right? Like this is hammer drill. Okay. I was having a bad day and I got really frustrated and slammed the drill down and basically destroyed the drill. But it mostly works. It's not called hammer drill because it impacts. It's called no. hammer drill because it, it's I hammer. used as a hammer. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, 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 that was it. Yep, that's the one. So we're clear. Uh, uh, I need an anchor. anchor. Oh. Thank you, sir. Anchor boy. Anchor man. <laughs> Anchor man. Anchor man. Yeah, that one's already done. I will have a link for you in just a moment for this one. But we do need the other all thread piece, though. So. Oh, right. Because somebody used it all. Well, excuse me. The joinery work over here is kind of pretty because we did oak pegs. We did a, a true... Um, through mortise and tenon. I can't remember what the joint is called. It's something because there's a there's a flooring joist essentially and then there's a mortise and tenon that goes through it. It's just I like it. It's pretty. This is the joinery from our pier. And it really I don't know. It goes through. I don't know. I just wanted to show you. I thought it looked cool. Of course the that, camera died. That is disappointing. And we just had a revelation that is very, very, very sad. So here's what we did. Because I measured to the foam and then subtracted four inches for the beam, uh, this is four inches that direction, which means all of the pockets are four inches that direction, which means we need to slide the beam this way four inches to redo all the holes. To redo all the holes. What you do is literally slide it down four inches, which I can just do by 
just pulling because it doesn't weigh that much and then drill the new holes and then really all we have to do is scoot it that way six inches well eight inches while i drill the hole and then move it back so i'm gonna work on i'm gonna unbolt all these real quick <gasps> What thought did you just have? We used all thread. I can't unscrew the all thread out of the anchor. Um, Which means we do need the pedibone because we need to be able to pull no. straight up off the anchors. If you put a jam nut on top, gun it down really tight and line it up, try to line it up with the bottom nut and then drop the socket over both of them. That sounds like a lot of this. It is. I think it'd be easier just to pick it up. Do you want to try it on one of them? See I'll try it on that one right there. That is such a bummer. Let me see if I can get this one off and that'll tell you whether you're grabbing Bobber or Pete the Pettibone. Pete or Bob. I know this is funny. I just want to make sure. Throw me a throw me a tape because I want to pull tape from this to that and see how see if we are in fact. I mean, I'm looking at it and I can see it, but I want to just before we pull everything down. I know that's what I did. Just, it would be silly, right? It would be silly not to check. <clears throat> 29 inches to the wall. 25 inches to the wall. We are exactly four inches off. Hey, but at least it's precisely wrong. It is. It is. Well, we could probably knock that out pretty quick because, like I said, we don't even have to pull the beams all the way off. It, it only takes a second to drill the holes. Golly, that's disappointing. Woohoo! And there was much rejoicing. Yay! Yay! So, one all thread is out. One of Whoa. three. Did you bring your head again? Yay! Two out! You didn't actually get this other one in, did you? No. So, just one more? Just one more. All right, all the old thread is out. The beams are free. One more to go. One more to go. That one's in. I yeah, I'm kind of getting professional at this. Yeah, that's that's why we did it off the first time, right? Just so you could have more practice. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be able to do this blindfolded when you do your house. Alright, hope you guys see you tomorrow. Yes. Cool. cool. That's it. Long, long day. We're done. Hooray! Alright. All right, so we got our beam hung, fixed, put back in the right position. 
we'll put into the right position. And now we're going to call it a day because it's about 6.15. So we're going to clean up, call it a day. Thanks for joining our adventure. <laughs>